From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. The drilling for oil controversy may now be moot. Bahamas Petroleum Company has announced that it has completed that drilling exercise west of Andros, and they did not find any commercial deposits of oil there. The well has been permanently sealed and abandoned, according to the company, and it says it will review the appropriate way forward for any possible future business in the country. Opponents of the exercise say they are relieved. The murder total for the year is now 15. Two more confirmed by police yesterday. The body of a man found off Cowpen Road late yesterday afternoon with various injuries. The man has not been identified as yet, but police say he could be in his late 20s or early 30s. They're checking on missing persons to try and identify him. The other victim is 29-year-old Javon Edwards. He died in hospital after being stabbed during a Sunday night incident in the Grove area here in the capital. No one in custody in connection with that. Police are still working that Harbor Island shooting incident from the weekend also. And police have now filed charges in connection with the road rage stabbing incident earlier here in the capital. 21-year-old Jonathan Griffin and a 17-year-old juvenile arraigned on related charges in connection with the fatal stabbing of Andrew Stirrup following a traffic accident here in the capital last week. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. A Defense Force officer stationed in Inagua is facing rape allegations. It's alleged that the officer raped one of his colleagues. He's been relieved of his duties pending a police investigation into those allegations, according to a Defense Force statement. The Free National Movement losing another incumbent for the next general elections. Abaco MP James Aubrey is not going to run. I would have met with the Prime Minister early this year to sit down and speak with him, to inform him that I was not seeking the nomination to run again in the seat. And I explained my reasons to him. Uh, and he was very accepting and accommodating of that. So there was no no pressure from the party. It's already been confirmed that former Deputy Prime Minister Peter Trunquist will not get a nomination, and House Speaker Moultrie has quit the party. Just two confirmed coronavirus cases on Sunday, one in Eleuthera, the other pending. Twelve persons in hospital, no one in the ICU. Health officials now waiting for that vaccine to get here. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune 242 dot com now the tribune's accurate weather update a service of insurance management no systems in the area sunny skies today highs from the upper 70s to low 80s 79 at freeport 81 in the capital 83 at matthew town no marine advisories winds generally 10 to 15 knots the seas two to four feet high tide now the next low around noon clear skies tonight lows from the upper 60s to mid 70s if you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. Insurance Management wishes everyone a safe and prosperous year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The Tribune has reopened to the public. So if you're selling a car, truck, boat, or computer, call us today on 502-2398. Advertising in the Tribune's classified trader works. So call us on 502-2398 or email classifieds at tribunemedia.net for your quote. And let us help you get cash in your pocket. There are great deals to be had every day. So get your copy of the classified trader every Monday through Friday. Only in the Tribune. The People's Paper. Biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines all eyes on the U.S. Senate today where the second impeachment trial of former President Trump begins. It's unlikely that he'll be convicted. Senate Republicans indicating they will not support a conviction. Rescue efforts continue in India following that flooding incident there which left close to 20 persons dead and more than 100 missing. Rescue workers have managed to get some persons trapped in tunnels out safely. Countries continue the coronavirus vaccination rollouts around the world. Decreasing numbers in the U.S. has health officials there hopeful that at some point they'll have the situation under control, but concerns remain about new variants of the virus now spreading in some states. The Tribune's gas striker prices for Tuesday, Shell 409, Rubus 401, SO $4.02 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section, the Tribune Sports Tuesday, 
has the last word on the Super Bowl game and Tom Brady. Another big night for DeAndre Ayton in the NBA. He gets another double-double, and the Suns get a win over Cleveland. And there's the NBA update also. Read about the death of former heavyweight boxing champion Leon Spinks and get the latest on the Australian Open tennis tournament. It's underway in Melbourne, including a Venus Williams analysis. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.